How long can you hold your breath now? I'm five and a half. Holy shit. But like facing down in the water and not moving and doing right. your preparation. Not swimming. No, I'm not swimming. Just how long face can you hold down. it if you have a dive into the water? And so, like, give you what? How much time do you give yourself? It depends the depth. It depends the fish you hunt. It depends the conditions. It depends on a lot of things. So, like, if it. you're fighting the water uh, currents, it's more difficult. Yes, because basically, what you want to do when you free dive is you want to be as calm as possible. You want to be as relaxed as you can, which is why yoga and meditation are often very close to free diving. Because if your heartbeat is 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 high then your good body's going to need more oxygen. Mm. That makes sense, obviously. And, but then again, the second you emerge your face in the water, you do like your first dive and then you feel the pressure. Your body understands that you're trying to, uh, to hold your breath and you need to do that. So the blood is going to start coming from, from your fingers, your extremities, your toes, and then your hands, your feet. So all the, all the vessels are, are going to start um, constrict. So all the blood flow is going to go towards your vital organs. So you actually, your body is getting ready for it. So they want to make sure that the oxygen goes exactly where it needs to be and make sure that you need as, as less effort to do anything as possible when you're actually underwater. Now, when you first tried holding your breath, how long did you do it for? The first time I did it? Yeah. I think my first time trying it was about a minute. <clears throat> that was like the best you could do. With yeah. No techniques, just ready go. No, no technique like like they they you breathe a little bit before. So even you know, with you, techniques. Yeah, with techniques, it was. It's when you hold your breath, you have the a buildup of CO two in your body because you're not you know exhaling any. Mm -hmm. And then when your body realizes that there's a buildup, it gives you an urge to breathe, and then it gives you contract contractions like diaphragm contractions. And this is what makes somebody panic, you know, like, my body needs hair, and you, you want air, you want air. And then the more you train, then you realize that you learn how to control it. And it's not because your body tells you to breathe that you're necessarily out of oxygen. Mm. So how, what, what techniques do you do to relax that? Breathing. So I do mostly, especially when I'm in the water, I do a very short inhale, so about five seconds, and then I do a long inhale, maybe 10 to 15 seconds. And then when you, when you exhale, you're focusing on like everything getting relaxed and then you're gonna I'm sorry, start. did you say that again? Cause you said inhale twice. Oh, sorry, sorry. Did you mean to? No. <laughs> so you inhale for five seconds and then you exhale for 10 to 15 seconds. Oh, okay. So you exhale slowly? You exhale super slowly. You use your um. tongue to control the air coming out. And then when you do that, you get as relaxed as possible. And then the more relaxed you are, that along with your mammal diving reflex, which is your heart beating slow down naturally, your blood shifting from your extremities to your vital organs. And then you also have about Wait. a few years ago, maybe only 50 years ago, they taught that when you reach 30 meters, your body would be completely crushed inside. That was what a scientist would think. 30 meters. Yeah, something like that. That it was like that the pressure would be so great there that your body would be completely crushed. But then again, with that, with that dive reflex, what it does is that that overflow of blood is going around your alveoles and your lungs, which prevent them from crushing. Your body is actually a design machine to go underwater. Oh. Which is completely crazy, considering that I've never knew that, especially growing up in downtown Montreal. Yeah. And then... You put somebody in the water and you're like, hey, you're actually made for that. So when people tell me, oh, I could never do that. It's too hard. No, no, you, you're actually born like that.